Hello, Deepers and Dolls. It is your queen, Cheryl Hall, here from Drag Race UK Series 1. Now, there's no denying that being eliminated sucks, but Diva, here are a couple tips and tricks that I wish I would have known when I got the chop. Losing is the new winning. Cheryl, my beautiful queen, you leave a big hole to fill. Very big. <laughs> now, sashay away. So the writing was on the wall for me, and I sort of prepared myself for Rue to say sashay away, and I had had the best time possible. I just had so much fun with everything we did. Yeah, there were some highs. Yeah, there were some lows. I was leaving knowing that I did my best. I had such a great time and I made the judges laugh. So I was like, let's leave, making them laugh even more at this silly in a wig. Love you, love you, love you. Done. See you in Essex. Bye. <laughs> Walking back into the workroom, I had to make sure that I left being true at Chezzy. So I popped my head round the corner. I was like, hello, full well knowing that there was no other queens. <laughs> and I just thought it was funny to say, you finally got rid of me. Like, I'm all game to but I just wanted to leave the heart and soul that is Cheryl Hole. And I looked glamorous. You can't deny that I looked glam, even though I was in a uh, lovely little bodysuit that Michelle hated. <laughs> now, when you're filming Drag Race, you are living in this bubble and this world that is just drag, drag, drag 24 seven. And you're surrounded by your new family, your new sisters, that having your real life sister airdropped into the workroom is just the most jarring experience of them all but it was the most warming and thing i needed the most at that time because you see the end in sight and you're just like what can i do to push through and persevere and having your sister go diva you've got this sissy hole going Boos, bling so i had the best time on my final episode because I had one of my best friends, which was my sister, by my side, just being silly girls together, Essex Divas through and through, that I think, yeah, I was eliminated, but I left on such a high that I had the best time possible. If I could say anything to Shezzy back on series one, I would just say, believe in yourself, know that you are a star, because you are a star, you are a star. And don't let other people get into your head. Trust your gut. Trust your instinct because your initial reaction is the best one. I'm just so grateful that that little moment back then in 2019 has kickstarted everything and really formed me into this amazing queen that I am today. And I'm just so grateful for the belief in me as an artist. Like knowing that Rue and Michelle and the other queens wanted me to succeed and do well, it just really sticks with me and just really drives me to continue on this journey. Maxi Shield, our love for you is bigger than your boobs. Now, sashay away. It's been f***ing amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Darling, you don't need a crown on your head to uh, be the queen. And you've just got to stick that imaginary crown on. Make it up here. This looks like a crown. Booze. And just conduct yourself like a winner because you're already winning. You're winning for getting the call. You're winning for putting your best foot forward. And you're winning just for being you. So continue on it because you're winning, darling. I just want to reassure you that this is just the beginning. This is where everything is going to go up for you. Now, embrace everything, accept all the love, but also use that as drive and determination to keep you going, keep you turning out new looks, keep performing hard, and just be grateful for every opportunity you're given because the ride, as fast as it is, it can stop at any moment and just be professional be on time, be 100% you, and just be not mediocre. I get a bit deep, don't I? Boosh! <laughs>